Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're going to take a closer look at the works of mercy, first the corporal works, then the spiritual. Today, the third corporal work of mercy, clothing the naked. Once again, this work is related to a basic need that people have, and once again, it's more than just a desire. Clothing helps protect us from temperature, from weather, from certain kinds of animals, and from the base temptations of our fellow human beings. If a person is completely without clothing, it's pretty clear that they're in great need, a need that any of us would want to be rescued from in their place. So clothing naked is just part of doing justice to others. Again, as with hunger and thirst, whether or not this is a work of mercy may be affected by the kind of clothing being given. The goal, remember, is to protect them from suffering and death. But deliberately catering to the whims of someone who wants a certain brand of clothing so that they can be cool or whatever is not necessarily merciful, especially when other kinds of clothing would protect them just as well. However, that doesn't mean that any kind of clothing will do. Giving someone a pair of Speedos to wear in Alaska is hardly sufficient for their protection, and likewise a warm fur coat would be pretty well useless to someone living in the Amazon jungle, except maybe for warding off bugs. Our response should be sensible, conforming to the person's needs, but not necessarily their wants. That's really the long and short of all these necessity-based works of mercy. It's about giving people what they need, not necessarily what they desire. We want to help people to escape suffering and death to the best of our abilities, but that doesn't make us genies going around and granting wishes. Merciful works aren't about responding to requests or complaints. They're about relieving legitimate suffering and addressing genuine needs. Next, how do you harbor the harborless? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.